Hey, welcome to Adventure Streaming, guys. We're going to take a ride on my personal boat, Tight Lines. This is a 38 Tournament Edition Center Council Fountain, 2007. I got triple 300s on here. They're 2011s. The boat came with triple 275s. I've just found that I haven't used this boat enough in the last two years, so I'm really thinking about selling it. If I do, I'll put a link below in the description. Getting a lot of requests to go out on people's boats and do some shots on it, so it's really interesting. I love doing that. So come aboard and check us out. The boat, it's quasi clean. Remember, it's a 10 year old boat. Um, she's really in great shape. Never had any major issues with it at all. But these 300s, uh, the second set of Verados I've had, they're amazing, very quiet. I mean, all the engines out there are great, but I've been very happy with the Mercury Verados. And this fountain, it's a fast boat um, with two guys on it, depending on the wind conditions, etc. It'll do 70 miles an hour. She'll cruise, and this is miles per hour. She'll cruise at a one to one ratio, about 45 to 48 miles an hour. Uh, fast cruise, 48 to 52. You know, she does the mid-60s easy. Now, obviously, we're uh, all loaded up for an offshore trip or whatever with, you know, four or 500 pounds of ice, etc. You know, you're going to degrade your fuel consumption and your speed. It's really hard to complain with this setup for this boat. So under the seat, we have a 40-gallon functional live well. You can control how much water goes in and out of it. I actually have two pumps. I'll show you the bilge. Again, this boat is not completely clean at this point. So all these batteries are new as of two seasons ago. Got a brand new battery charger that I put in there. I don't know if you see that genius. It's all waterproof. I put in there the earlier part of this season. Batteries are within two years old. Let me show you a fish box. So there are four fish boxes. These are pretty big fish boxes. You know, they all have a fish drain that's controlled at the council. Just to kind of show you, it's hard to tell depth on the camera. I mean, I can fit in here. My feet aren't even to the back yet. So, I mean, you can put some big fish in here. <laughs> so there's four of these. Plenty of, plenty of space for fish. Got rod holders. I keep a couple of gaffs in here. Rod holders over there. I got a swivel rod holder on each side. They're Lees, plenty of rod holders here, rod holders on the back of the seat, rod holders up top, got the kingfish rod holders on the side, some rod holders here. So you really have plenty of rod holder space. I also have a, a center outrigger. I got the taco outriggers. You, you don't have to climb up top. You pull them, you got a little crank, crank it up and down. I think they're 17 or 18 foot aluminum. So the electronics are original. They're all Furuno. They were the best that they had in 2007. And everything's still functional. I got a two kilowatt sonar that they actually had to cut out the step inside the head. We'll show you and put it in because they make one from the factory, a position holder for the transducer that's only one kilowatt. It works really well. Radar works fantastic. Autopilot here, that's only about four seasons old. Got great radios. You know, I got dual so you can switch these back and forth. I got the smart craft view here. Takes everything from these gauges and puts them on one view. Got a fusion radio that's set up in the head. This has all been repainted. The gauge holder has been repowder coated. This is powder coated. This has all been redone within the last couple of seasons. This was just done last season. This was done two seasons ago. I keep contemplating whether or not to replace the electronics, but you know what? They work. I don't want to spend a ton of more money on it. I got a new EPIRB that's only uh, two seasons old. The only thing that drives me a little crazy is there's a little corrosion on this throttle control. If I keep the boat, that's the next thing I'll do. That's about it. The seats, these are all original. Seats go up and down. New top. Put your cell phone, this is pretty creative here. Put your cell phones or whatever up here. The top's all new. The T-top's been repainted. Jeremy helped me do that. You know, nothing that's too crazy there that you guys haven't seen. What I like about this top is it's one tone. It's not white on the underneath. It's white on top. It actually helps out a lot with the reflection of the sun. 
So obviously when the sun hits the white boat, it reflects, and then when you had a white underneath, which was the original top, it reflects quite a bit. I didn't really believe that that was gonna be the case, but I've had this now two seasons, and it's a really big difference. And plus, I, I kinda liked it, the way it made the boat look. It was either gonna get white, white, or do this, and uh, we took a risk, and I'm in love with it, it's great. Oh, I wanna show you these engines. I really, so I do all the maintenance that I can on this boat myself. It takes a lot of time, um, but I, I work with a guy who does all the mechanical stuff on the engines, Mike Palumbo, Offshore Northeast, great guy. Anybody that has a, you know, a go fast boat, uh, center council with trips on it, cigarettes, um, go to him and he's, he's very local. And my buddy Jeremy, obviously, he does a lot of electronic stuff and helps out quite a bit. By the way, when we replace the top, we put a new light on there that actually can go down. You can see the uh, anchor light, nice little rig with the GPS. And we took two brand new Comrade antennas on there, redid all that wiring, very high quality antennas. Let me just show you, we'll take the cover off one of the engines, show you how clean these are, pretty darn clean. I spray them down a couple times a year, run salt the way through them. And then we have a special hose over there, if you can show the connection. Every time we use the boat, we rinse it down. So the head, I don't like to use the toilet. Again, for 10 years old, the head's in good shape. Do a quick check in there. It's got a little pull-out shower handle where the sink is. That head actually pulls out in the shower. There's a little fan. Access to your central council wires back there with the trap door. Do a quick view of downstairs. Tell you, this is really handy on the center council to be able to store your gear. There's storage underneath the seats. Here, I'll walk in here and just do a quick look up. There's lights in here. And you know, this is okay, comfortable to sleep in. It's not, uh, it's not very cush. A couple of guys can sleep in here. And they also make a pad, if you wanted to, you can actually put in here. It takes up this space, and then you can lay in here. But when I'm running offshore, I always keep my life raft right here, keep my ditch bag here. I took that out for this uh, video. But you can see, I mean, this has hardly ever been used, pretty much in brand new condition. We have a hailer. We also have a spotlight that rotates. Actually, the hailer is only two seasons old. That light is brand new in the spring. There's a cooler here. Again, it's dirty. Haven't cleaned that. We usually put our drinks there. Instead of storage here, I have an auxiliary tank. I have a 160 auxiliary tank and a 300 main. So this thing will hold 460 gallons. Uh, it has a safe range of, you know, 400 miles. The flow scan is very accurate. I mean, I'm within four to five gallons when I fill up, but when it tells me I burned 202 gallons, you know, I'm putting in, you know, 198 to 204 gallons. It's, it's pretty incredible. There's two pumps, one for the salt water, and there's also a separate pump from the live well, and you can run them separately or you can run them together, meaning there's really a backup pump. All right, we'll start up the engines. All right, port side first, center. starboard. So these are 2011s. I have 474 hours, 472 on the port and starboard, and only 404 on the center. That's because when I'm trolling offshore, I typically don't leave the center engine on. So here's the system view. I mean, most of you guys know it, but it's pretty cool what you can do with this thing. It tells you exactly how each engine's running, you go home and then you can go your trip. I mean, I pretty much use the trip vessel course. But I mean, it has amazing stuff in it. So what I like about this though is it tells me how much fuel I'm using and it tells me at the speed I'm currently going, what the actual consumption is. Lights here, red and white. We have courtesy lights that go underneath the gunnels that are actually green. I have green underwater lights that go out behind the engines. Got spreader lights here. All right, let's take it for a ride.
All right, so this is your perspective. Pretty good view. I have 39 inch trim tabs on the back, you know, the Mercury racing ones. I usually put it on five. I never slam on to, to get up on plane. I'm pretty smooth with it. It'll, it'll get up on plane really quickly. I bring the tabs up. show you how quickly she gets up on plane. I usually don't do this, but got the tabs at five, got the motors trimmed in, straighten it out. See, she's on plane already. I bring the tabs up, tweak the edges out to about three, two and a half. Hope you liked the video with tight lines and let us know i'll put the email address down below hey if you guys got some cool boats you want to go do some footage on send us an email leave us a comment below and please subscribe if you haven't already give us a thumbs up and really would enjoy some comments and until next time enjoy your adventures